Hello YouTube. Summer is here. The heat also is here. And uh, many of us wish to escape the heat and uh, get in uh, into the nature, into the forest, into the mountains, searching for uh, a cooler temperature. This is the reason why uh, many of us try to go deeper into the woods uh, only with uh, what they can carry on their back. Uh, so uh, I have some friends that uh, love to do that and uh, their opinion is the, is better to have one tool option they don't like to carry a saw they don't like to carry an axe they uh, want to carry only uh, a knife and uh, one of my friends asked me what is the best knife for uh, one overnighter for only one night uh, i told him that uh, a folder an opinel maybe is the best option and uh, I, this is my opinion and uh, I stick to it because uh, in the woods we have all sort of dead wood we do not need a saw, we do not need uh, an axe we can break the wood with our hands we can make feather stick with the folding saw we can use the back uh, of the folding saw to uh, obtain uh, fat with the dust and uh, scrape a fair around. So, in my opinion, for an overnighter, overnighter uh, in the summer, if we have, if we have uh, a tent or a tarp, if we have our shelter secure, a folder or a knife like this, very light, very good, very sharp, very sturdy, is more than enough we have also the situation that uh, we need to uh, stay in the woods for three four days in a row and uh, the other uh, friend of mine asked what is the best knife to do that if we are not allowed to carry a saw or an axe we can manage with this kind of knife but we need something something more sturdier something uh, that we can rely on and in my collection I have a bunch of knife like that that are sturdier that we can use to put on something that we can use to cut some grass if we need to uh, chop uh, some pieces of wood and so on uh, and also we can use it to find a work, to uh, make a, a system, cooking system, to make a, a tent pack, to make anything else. I have the Yakari Puku from Terava, I have the uh, Tracker from Boker, I have the Stronger from, uh, from Gerber, I have also Bravo 1 from Bark River and my favorite is a knife that uh, is made partially by me and uh, that is the reason that I use it uh, much more than the rest but again if you need to stay in the woods for a longer period of time one of these knives are the best they are sturdy they are full tank they can give us uh, the opportunity to use a knife in more uh, ways well if uh, we must stay in the woods for a longer period of time and as i said we don't want to uh, keep a, a saw or an axe in my opinion this is a mistake because uh, we carry on our back, yes, but uh, 
if you add two or three or more uh, the weight can be distributed so if I carry a knife for example this one that is uh, heavy uh, another of my friends can carry the saw and another one an axe and in this uh, manner we have all the tools that we need but uh, if we need to uh, use only uh, one tool that uh, can uh, make the work of an axe and also the work uh, of a knife I think about some knives like this this is a cold steel kukri and I have also a kukri that I think is from Nepal it's uh, well decorated and it's old we have some uh, patina from use and uh, this is a, a better one in the shape uh, at this moment I newly acquired this one uh, then this is better than this because as you can see we have a thicker spine so this one can button without any problem this one I do not know I think is two and a half millimeter is not a, a very very thick uh, uh, spine well this one is not very heavy I think is uh, almost comparable with this is heavier a little heavier but uh, we can use it as I said of course, because of the shape of the blade we can use it to uh, chop I have here a piece of oak and you can see this can be used as a axe uh, we can use it of course to baton without any problem to obtain some smaller twigs even if the wood is very hard I do not have any uh, doubt concerning the knife this is very sturdy very thick in the spine and after we have obtained something that we can use to obtain feather stick we can work the piece of wood to obtain what we want so as you can see I'm using this knife as I'm using uh, an axe because uh, this is heavier than a knife and is not so uh, pleasant to work with but if uh, need be we can obtain some uh, feather stick only using uh, this uh, this knife and using oak that is not a very good uh, piece of wood for uh, for uh, making feather stick uh, we can also uh, use this to carve if we need to because we can do it like this as I said this is a little tiresome because the blade is heavy but without any problem we can obtain what we want and in the same time you can use this knife to uh, cut grass to uh, sharpen some uh, tent peg without any problem like this and so on and we can use it also for finer tasks like making the seven notch probably here we must use the baton because um, the wood as I said is harder than usual and like this we have obtained a seven notch so look at the spine 
look how thick is the spine. This is a knife that, in my opinion, will not fail us. Uh, I do not know exactly what kind of, uh, of uh, tank it has. Uh, could be partial tank, could be red tank. But if the tank is thick, like the blade, like the back of the blade, is no problem. So uh, we can use this knife to chop as a uh, an axe, and also is a knife to uh, make uh, finer stuff. Also, probably we can use it to obtain some fat with dust. Let's see if we if I'm wrong or not. Look, without any problem with the back of the blade, we can obtain the fire dust that we need, uh, the, the fat with dust. Excuse me, that we need. Also, we can use this part in the same uh, purpose or any part of it to scrape uh, uh, the fat wood. Probably, I will make uh, more crispier this angle here with the file that will help me much more. And uh, this is a very very uh, good knife that can be uh, one option tool this is my opinion I know there are uh, very much uh, uh, other knives that are very good uh, I don't know from uh, work tough from uh, another manufacturer big knives but this this shape is something that help the knife cutting when it's used as an axe and from, from uh, that reason is my favorite this one is very thick then we have a hollow grind and then the hollow grind ends in a convex grind all over the, the, the length of the blade so uh, this is this is all I wanted to show you the hollow grind and here we have a convex grind uh, I don't know probably probably I will put a secondary uh, bevel here to uh, make it more more sturdy I do not know the steel probably is not a very looks old the knife is old and probably is not a very very good steel but if we uh, can put a secondary bevel probably uh, from the thickness of the blade we can obtain an edge that is more uh, more robust uh, as I said this is my go-to knife for one tool option but in the same time I'm not a fan of that uh, that current I like to carry a saw and also one of the sturdy knives and uh, with that I can have any problem I cannot have any problem because uh, saw and uh, a knife a sturdy knife we can uh, live a week in the wilderness without any problem this is all I have to uh, I had to show you a good weekend to you all